Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing my 26 and 27 week pregnancy update. Firstly, I just want to start off by saying thank you guys so much for all the love and support on my last video. I was having a really rough week, obviously, as you guys could tell. I'm feeling much better emotionally and physically this week, so that is really nice. But thank you guys so, so much for all of the kind and encouraging words. It really means so much to me. Also, thank you guys so much for 4,000 subscribers. Like, holy cow, I did not think that I would have this many subscribers right now. I think at the beginning of this pregnancy, I didn't even have a thousand subscribers and now we're at 4,000 subscribers. So this channel is just growing super fast and I'm super amazed by, again, all of the love and support. So thank you guys so, so much. Also, as you guys can tell, I did go ahead and go back to my natural hair color. I just feel like it was getting time to do something about my roots and I needed to start adding highlights in. But of course, I'm not going to be able to do that for a very long time after the baby gets here because I'll pretty much be homebound just with baby, not wanting to go to the salon for a couple hours. So I just felt like going back to my natural hair color was probably best and I'm so glad that I did. Now we are going to quit rambling on and we are going to go ahead and get into this update. So if you want to hear what's been going on for 26 and 27 week of my pregnancy, then go ahead and keep on watching. So I am 27 weeks and three days today whenever I'm filming this video. I'm hoping I will get it edited and uploaded tomorrow for you guys so you guys have a video this week. I've just been taking it super easy. I've been trying to relax a little bit more whenever it comes to the housework and that has definitely helped my physical pain that I was experiencing. I just feel like I was overdoing it and since I've been taking a step back and letting my husband help out around the house more, it's gotten a lot better, which also helps emotionally. The weather has been crazy here in Oklahoma. Seems like two weeks ago we were having really decent, nice weather, then it got really, really cold and freezing temperatures again, and now it's just kind of somewhere in the middle every day, and now I'm having some really bad allergy issues, so if you hear a little difference in my voice, that's what it is. I'm just fighting a little bit of a sinus issue right now. With all the drainage that I'm having going on with the allergies, I have been drinking a lot more water, just trying to get it all drained out as soon as possible by staying hydrated, and I definitely feel those effects because I am going to the bathroom like every 30 minutes, and it's ridiculous. I'm also one of those people that if I wake up in the middle of the night and I notice that I have to pee, I will try and power through and just make it back to sleep because I hate getting up in the middle of the night and then having to toss and turn to go back to sleep. So I try and just ignore it, but it is impossible to ignore it these days. I am waking up every single night to go pee in the middle of the night and I cannot make it till morning anymore. In my 26th week, I noticed that I was wanting to eat like, like I would make eggs for breakfast in the morning with the yolk still a little bit runny. And I was having that like every morning, eggs and toast. And I thought that that was kind of strange because this whole pregnancy, I haven't really cared for eggs. I don't really want to eat them. It kind of just grosses me out a little bit. So I found that a little interesting, but I did go on my app and noticed that she is actually putting on more fat this week so maybe that has something to do with it I haven't been like overly hungry so it's not that I'm eating a lot more I'm just wanting more good fats in the foods that I'm eating but now that I'm in my 27th week I'm not really wanting them as bad as I was before I still can eat them and enjoy them unlike previously in my pregnancy, but I'm not like needing them every morning like I was the week before. Also, I don't know if it has something to do with the sickness that I have going on or the allergies that I have going on, or if it's that I'm just going through another tired phase in my pregnancy, but I have noticed that after the kids go to bed, me and my husband normally like to watch like one of our shows on the TV in the living room. In the past three nights, I have fallen asleep on the couch pretty early, like earlier than normal before we actually make it to our bed. So I just feel like my body just needs extra rest right now, which is fine, but that is just one of the things going on. Also, we will be ordering her name sign soon. I am actually in her room right now and where I'm sitting, her crib is gonna go directly behind me and then above her crib, I want to have her name. And once we have her little name sign, I will be doing a name reveal for you guys. I am so excited to finally share her name. 
seems like every time I'm filming these videos, I want to slip up and say her name or just go ahead and share it with you guys because I absolutely love her name, but I really do want to do a name reveal for you guys. So that will be coming as soon as possible. I finally caved and bought the first thing for her room. This thing that you see behind me was actually my little niece's. I have all boys and I actually got rid of a lot of their stuff after Landon was born because I thought that we were probably done having kids and I didn't have any girl stuff anyway so that wouldn't have helped me in this situation but luckily my niece is a few months older I think she's gonna be about six months older than this baby so we will get lots of clothes and lots of new things from her so that's actually where I got this thing I did not purchase that it was all hand-me-downs from my little niece. But I have been itching to buy stuff for her and her room and just, I'm just so excited. So I did finally cave and I bought her a really nice fluffy rug for in front of her crib and I'm just so excited to see my vision for this room come to life. Also, I think I forgot to mention this in the beginning of this video. Yes, this is a 26 and 27 week pregnancy update. Just because I was always pre-recording and I was ahead for you guys and as we're getting closer to time I want to be as close to time as possible with these videos so you guys can stay more up to date with me in current time and that's just crazy because that means that she's actually going to be here soon I'm like I said 27 weeks and three days so we're getting close to the countdown, the final countdown. I'm so excited. And while I'm on this subject, I do have an Instagram account. If you just look it up, you can look up Entwistle Family Vlogs. You can look up Tiffany Entwistle and you should be able to find our page. And I am really, really trying to get better about posting. I go long stretches of times without posting anything and I'll post one here and there. So I'm really trying to get better about that so that as things progress in this pregnancy or whenever I go into labor, I can let you guys know through Instagram and not have to record a video and edit it and get it up for you guys. However, I do plan on filming a video that will go live on my YouTube channel, letting you guys know when I am in labor. I will just pre-record that and have it ready to go for whenever I am in labor. I can let you guys know here on YouTube as soon as possible if you don't wanna follow me on Instagram. But if you do wanna follow me on Instagram, I really appreciate that, that is totally awesome. Also, this whole pregnancy, I thought that I wasn't gonna get a baby shower because this is my fourth baby, but we are pretty sure this is going to be our last baby and it is our first girl. And we just would really want a baby shower just to you know celebrate her and I think that it would be really cool for the boys the boys always talk about having a birthday party for her or like a baby shower birthday party type thing for her just to celebrate her and my mom is going to throw us a baby shower and we are just so excited but with that I don't really know of anything that we really need I haven't really sat down and like thought it all through really but from what I can remember and it, it's only been two years since my last baby but that seems like forever ago but it seems like really the only things that I really needed was receiving blankets clothes diapers wipes and I breastfeed so they were pretty much good to go there you don't really need a lot I don't really need a lot for a baby I just the main thing is I just want to get her nursery set up but I am super excited to make a registry and go through that whole process again. So again, we are just getting so excited. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can tell, but we are super, super excited. We are getting so close and it's just getting so much more real. Something funny that has recently started is I am pretty sure I'm only 5'2", and whenever we moved into this house, I would put stuff up on like the top shelves in the kitchen, like way up high because I can, you know, I normally would just crawl up on the countertops and get whatever I needed if I couldn't reach it. And I can't really do that now. And even standing on my tippy toes, I can't reach because my belly won't let me bend and stretch. So that is new. We also have a little window seal above our sink where we normally have our paper towels. And my husband keeps putting them back up there and I keep taking them back down because he didn't realize that I kept taking them down because I can't reach them because my stomach won't let me 
bend over the sink in that way. So it's always fun whenever you notice a new thing that you can't do because your belly's in the way. Also, since my appointment three weeks ago, I have only gained one and a half pounds. So that is pretty good for me. I, like I said, in this pregnancy, I haven't really been gaining a whole lot of weight. I am actually still under the 10 pound mark for this pregnancy, I think. Yeah. I'm either just under or just over 10 pounds. I can't really remember anymore. But yeah, that's like the least amount of weight that I've ever gained in any of my pregnancies. So I'm pretty proud of that. I think I mentioned in my last video that I did talk to my doctor about going ahead and starting the red raspberry leaves tea. You can start it at 25 weeks. I did mention that I wanted to hold off a little bit longer just so I could research a little bit more. But upon research, I did go ahead and try it. I drank one cup one night before bed and it didn't taste bad, but I did notice the following day, my tummy was just a little irritated and I was having Braxton Hicks contractions quite frequently. So with the scares that I was having a few weeks ago with the Braxton Hicks contractions, I decided that I wasn't gonna try it again for a few more weeks. Once I do try it out, I will let you guys know how that goes, but it seems like to me, it does really help tone the uterus. <laughs> I was a little bit skeptical, I will admit, but feeling the way I felt the next day after drinking just one cup of it with just one tea bag, I think I'm totally a believer. So I am really excited to actually start drinking that every night whenever I get further along in my pregnancy. I just don't want to take it now just because, again, if you didn't watch that, there was a video a few weeks ago in one of my pregnancy updates where I had mentioned that I had to go to the labor and delivery ward just because I was having really bad contractions. If you missed that, go ahead and go back there and check it out. But just because of that, I'm not really comfortable starting to drink it every day right now. So I will wait a few more weeks. I did have a new craving this week. We do have a Dairy Queen next to us. I don't know if that's like a nationwide thing, but they have blizzards there and I for some reason just really wanted one last night. I haven't had Dairy Queen ice cream since I was a kid probably, but I just really wanted a blizzard. And so my husband went and got me one and I've already asked if I can have another one tonight because it, oh, it's better than Brahms, which is serious. Like if you live where there's a Brahms, Brahms is the place you go to for your ice cream around here like in Oklahoma that's just where you go and Dairy Queen is actually pretty tasty more so tasty than Brahms which is crazy I can't think of anything else that I needed to update in this video so I will go ahead and show you guys my 27 week and three day belly so here is my belly at 27 weeks and three days from the side and this is kind of a flowy, baggy, comfy shirt. But this is what I look like from the front. And here is what I'm looking like from the other side. But that is it for this pregnancy update. I hope you guys really enjoyed. Also, I did want to mention, sorry I haven't uploaded any cleaning videos lately. I just don't have the energy this week. Hopefully I will have my energy back soon because there is quite a bit of cleaning that I need to catch up on. Also, go ahead and follow me on Instagram if you have not already. That way when things happen, you get updated faster and don't have to wait on a YouTube video. Also, if you have not already, go ahead and like this video if you found it helpful. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Click the little bell notification so you get notified anytime I upload a new video. Also, if you are pregnant, trying to conceive, or just had a baby, let me know down below in the comment section. I love hearing and connecting with you guys. So let me know. As always, thank you guys so, so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.